I'm very nervous to get bangs, incredibly nervous. Having like this big of a change is a really big deal for me. Like I feel very attached to my hair. I feel very like protected by my hair and I feel like it's part of my identity. So my hairstyle has kind of been basically like this and I've had this side part for my whole life and so I really wanted a change and I wanted to get curtain bangs to help kind of frame my face. So this is my first time getting any life-changing haircut at all. My name is Carla Calderon and I'm going to Milena Rose Salon in Beverly Hills to get curly bangs for the first time. All right, so what is it that you're wanting to achieve with your curls today? So I really wanted to do something different and I wanted to get some bangs, some curly bangs. There was this one photo with Kiki Palmer that I really, really loved. And so I kind of want to reference her, but just a little bit a little longer. longer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would look great. When I'm first starting to cut curly hair, I'm going to section the front from the back and focus on small sections of hair at a time. When you're cutting curly hair, you always want to start with the hair dry. So I'm going to do the length and the layers in the back first, and then I'll come to the front. So when I'm cutting the bangs, I'm going to start by doing a short piece in the middle, and we're just going to kind of taper down on the sides and blend it into the rest. So my hair type, I would say, is a tighter curl. I would say I'm like a 3B, 3C, I'm in between there. It's dry in general, so I, I'm always like putting hair oils and I'm doing hair masks and stuff like that. When it comes to cutting curly hair, it's much different than your average person. Each curl pattern is different. The porosity is different. They might hold on to water or products differently. No one curl is the same. So I would not recommend cutting your bangs at home yourself. There's a risk where you can take too much hair and then you have a bulge of hair in the front of your head. If you need to just trim that one little hair in between your eyes, that's fine. But if you're trying to like commit to the curly life, I would not suggest doing it at home. I would definitely seek out your nearest curl specialist. With Carla, I decided to do two shampoos. First, I went in with the Milbon Moisture Shampoo to get any buildup or products that she's used in this past week off of her hair. And then the second is the Milbon Anti-Frizz Shampoo. Shampooing can be a little bit drying and with the defrizzing shampoo, it's just gonna help keep everything nice and juicy. So once I've rinsed all of the shampoo out, I'm gonna go in with the moisture conditioner and really push it into the hair. Once I've rinsed that out, I'm gonna go back through with the Milbon Anti-Frizz Conditioner and I'm gonna use my my wet brush to detangle and really work that conditioner through. I like to leave the conditioner in for about three to five minutes just to let the hair get a little drink of water. So once you're back at the chair or you've gotten out of the shower, I like to detangle again with my wet brush and I like to use Mizani Miracle Milk. It's my favorite detangler for all hair types actually, but especially for curls. So after I've put everything in a part, I'm gonna use the Moisture Quench Gel from Weedod and Anti-Humidity Gel from Weedod as well. I just cocktailed those both together in my hand and I'm just gonna really push the product in from root to end. So once we've got all of the product in and everything's kind of laying how we want it to lay, we're gonna go in with our Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer with the diffuser attachment. And I'm just gonna lightly bounce the ends up. And then once you've got the ends, like with the curls really locked in, I like to sit under the dryer, or if you're at home, sit down, maybe do your makeup and air dry a little bit. So the final step, once you're about 80% dry, that's when you're gonna wanna start looking for the little curl families that have worked their way together. You're gonna really gently just start pulling those apart. Don't force it, you know, if you start forcing it, you're gonna get frizz. You're still gonna have definition, it's just gonna make the curls feel pillowy soft and light like there's nothing in the hair. All right, so what do you think? I honestly love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Everything I was nervous about is completely gone. Yeah, I feel like it frames your face really well. It's just like a nice round shape. It really opens you up and it's gonna be really versatile for you. You should be able to do a lot of different looks with the bangs. Honestly, right? I feel like it's like meant for you. Yeah, it's like, it's a really good change. Yay, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Curl journey.